These are conversion and uh, or importing flow for Craft Coffee, a coffee subscription service. Um, I know there are a couple of these kinds of sites out there. Uh, this is one of the better ones. It was featured at uh, Product Hunt the other day, so that's how I came to know about it. So the page loads, and uh, first thing we check out is the uh, URL, um, craftcoffee.com. Very straightforward. Um, running on secure socket layer, so uh, that's a trust issue. Definitely good. It would be great if um, just craftcoffee.com does work. It redirects to the www. Fine, no problem as long at all as long as uh, the domain resolves with and without the www. Uh, like I said, the design is great. Um, it looks like it possibly could have been a uh, template-based website or maybe even something like a Shopify template, but uh, we get into the code and we see that um, it is custom and they're running on uh, Amazon services. Um, so these guys definitely know what they're doing uh, coding-wise. Um, I think there's just some small uh, tweaks we could do, especially to the home page and maybe on some of the conversion pages to uh, improve things a little bit. So looking at the header, the main thing I see with the page is uh, there's a lot of leaky links off of the home page. I think uh, if I think this page could exist other way, other places within the site uh, on its own. Maybe um, people could get to it another way after they've come through the uh, home page the first time. But I think initially you want to uh, simplify and clean this page up. Uh, remove a lot of the link options because it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, the trend today is obviously to go uh, as minimal as possible while still being able to convert the user. So get free coffee. This is one. Um, I don't think people outside of your service uh, subscription system is going are, are going to take advantage of this um, because it is going to require a sign up or a login. So this might be something that you want to market to users after they're logged in within their own control panel. Uh, I think having it on the home page is definitely going to get a huge number of clicks uh, because it's free coffee and I think a lot of people are going to try and take advantage of that, but um, you're trying to dump them back into the onboarding flow, which is a difficult proposition. I think you're going to get a lot of abandonment here and possibly lose users uh, leaving the site that way. So it's something that I would just remove. The view cart uh, is another item that we're going to need later on in the process that if we can remove now, um, we don't need it here. The support, it's it's a Zendesk widget. Um, we love Zendesk, it's great. Unless this is a live chat window, um, I don't think it should be here because we have um, a great, I love the mail to uh, native user mail client links. This is uh, making a comeback and I think it's a great uh, thing because usability wise it's much better than filling in a form because people are much more familiar with using their own uh, email clients. We're all the way at the top of the page and all of the relevant uh, sales material is above the fold, so that's great. Um, again, above the fold, I would remove the sport, the view cart, this. Um, these links are all relevant. So I, I think that we're, we're good up here. As we scroll down, we get into um, supporting information for the sales process. This was pretty neat. Uh, I wasn't sure about it at first, having the... Um, um, Testimonial text appear on mouse over. I, I thought maybe it might be something that the users would like to see ahead of time, uh, but no, it definitely works. Um, maybe tighten these up a little bit, uh, shave away three to five pixels uh, to tighten the section up. But again, that's definitely nitpicking. Um, this section is great. It gives you more information about the coffee. Uh, I think we could kind of bring this up box or uh, what's in this month's box. Might be a little bit better. Uh, larger font, a little bit more bold um, because this kind of looks like a, a blog listing or something like that. It's not It's not exactly uh, clear to the user. Simplify this. I don't know if we need every piece of information here. Actually, it looks pretty important. But um, somehow, something about the presentation of this just looks uh, a little bit overwhelming on a text um, aspect. A uh, little, that's a decent amount of white space, I guess, uh, which is fine. The, the footer, we have a lot of um, extra links that I don't think that the user needs for now. Uh, again, just trying to prevent leaky links of the user uh, going to pages of the website, especially if they're coming in through the front door, uh, probably via marketing channel, either paid, um, affiliate, or otherwise. Um, you want to keep them within your sales and conversion funnel. Uh, any extra links that don't directly serve the purpose of that conversion funnel um, is really just a, a chance for the user to leak out of the website. So we really want to get it laser focused. But I, I, I like the page overall because it definitely gives a lot of information to the user. Um, I, this is fine, this little uh, 
badge icon. This is the analytics program they're using. Uh, if you have a, uh, an, a sincere and intimate relationship with them uh, and you want to promote them, then that's fine. But uh, if it's just appearing here because of the copy and paste tracking analytic code that they provide you, you could probably replace this with uh, um, your own image. So this isn't here. It doesn't really fill with the design. The um, social icons are great. Uh, the only issue I see here is the Twitter one. It'd be much better to have the Twitter um, small icon with the uh, follows on Twitter rather than have the um, you know, generic follow craft call. It, it's not consistent with what's going on here. But anyway, uh, the page overall is great. Again, this is just pretty long tail type stuff uh, because these guys know what they're doing and it's pretty optimized already. So I went into how it works and this is great. This is absolutely perfect. Um, I don't think you could really get any better than this. Maybe having a, another set of conversion buttons because subscribe now gives a gift. That's one set of conversion buttons. Again, we could get rid of all this stuff. Um, this is one set of conversion buttons up here. Maybe have uh, a larger image to the fourth. Um, get started now with a conversion button over on this side. That might affect the simplicity of the one, two, three, four by having another one. Um, or just an arrow, which when you click, it dumps the user into the uh, sign up process. Uh, as far as the conversion buttons, maybe another set down here. Uh, because when you do get down here, uh, you lose the conversion buttons. Uh, they're not uh, on the page. But it's still, this, that's, again, nitpicking. Uh, one issue I did see is with the office coffee. Um, this is uh, a little bit disjointed, I think, having uh, these listed as single lines, each one having its own single line rather than the uh, quadrant style here uh, would make a little bit more sense. Uh, visually, it could clean it up a little bit, having the having the quantities right aligned, having the uh, blends dark rose single origin on the left side, um, and maybe do the um, uh, select grind. So it would just be one as rows, two as a row, three as a checkout. So uh, the square aspect, I'm not sure, um, is the most user user friendly. But this is great. Um, the text on the page the tiniest little extra space here before the all. Um, this is a really good calculator. I never realized that, uh, how many bags you would need for a person. Um, you could probably add how many coffee, how many coffee drinkers, especially if you're going to be kicked down to uh, two lines anyway. Um, you know, just make the text a little bit more clear. But this is all great. Uh, I'm not sure that the uh, fact down here is really relevant. I think it kind of may over uh, overwhelm the user. I think uh, keeping this page a little bit more simple is the is the way to go here. But it's still it's a strong page. You're not going to get too much more out of it. I just think that uh, you know people's attention span has a limited amount of fuel in it, and if we're spending it um, filling up with these things, you're going to burn uh, what they have in your actual conversion process, which is filling in the credit card information. So you don't want to get people to bail just because um, they've read too much. Coffee gifts. This is awesome. I, I don't think you could uh, make this any better. Uh, it, it's as it's as uh, simple as possible. Adding to the cart takes you to the cart page. I like that rather than just adding it to the cart, and then we'll be able to check out. So I think that's it. That's as good as you're going to be able to get there. And then finally, a call to subscription, which is probably going to be the highest uh, used aspect of the system. Um, I think it's great. It's a little bit uh, unclear about uh, this aspect of it with the prepaid. I think you want to have people commit to the prepaid uh, as far as a revenue standpoint. So um, you might want to play around with the presentation of this to clearly show that it's a discount. Um, maybe have the price per month shown um, in gray uh, when applying the prepaid discount. I, I think if getting people to prepay is something that uh, is really a priority. I think you could optimize this a little bit better um, because by default, um, you know, we're just going to use the uh, monthly subscription checkout. And tasting box, this is, this is all great. Again, um, I'm not sure that these questions uh, add to the user conversion, so I'm not sure. This uh, confused me a little bit. Um, this seven days left to place your order. I, I finally realized that it means that um, you have you, you have set shipping uh, dates for each of your months. So um, I understand that 
the countdowns are good for user conversion, but this was not immediately clear to me. I think the design's great, and, and after I got the concept of what it was telling me, um, I understood it, but reading all this, it, it didn't seem uh, as straightforward as it could be. I think uh, it could be simplified a lot more, uh, but I like the design, I like the placement of it, so definitely gives me a um, little bit of urgency there. So again, the site is pretty phenomenal. Um, long tail type stuff. Don't forget into uh, the checkout process. If we could get the user to have the um, payment information on this page as well, it might make sense. Um, but I understand that you have shopping cart abandonment when you have people using um, credit card forms on uh, the same page as the sign up. It makes it easier as being a single step but uh, you get abandonment and you have no way to recover them. By doing it this way, um, you're able to potentially recover the users if they do abandon at the actual checkout step. So um, that's that's fine. Um, I, I would A-B test it actually. Uh, have a version of version of this running and then uh, the other version um, running with the with the credit card form and without use something like Optim Optimizely or Monotate um, to do the A-B testing there or even uh, Google Analytics. So. Um, uh, again, I think the site Craft Coffee is perfect. It, uh, the tagline "Amazing Coffee Experiences Delivered." Again, it all works. Um, but I think we could boost the conversions uh, by at least a couple of percent by getting rid of the leaky links, um, fixing the office coffee uh, buying options, and uh, and you know simplifying a little bit. So uh, great job on the site. I think you got something great here. Good luck.